May the 28th, 1988, proved a momentous day in Middlesbrough history. Tony Mowbray led out a team just 90 minutes away from the first division, less than two years after the club had virtually ceased to exist. Fury with the throw for Chelsea. Nick uh, Nevin against the post. Ripley made himself a yard but didn't seem to appreciate it. And against the post and then over the top from Slaven. So both goals escape courtesy of the woodwork in the opening minutes of the game. Ripley held on and the chip was just over the keeper's fingers off the post and then over the top with the goal gaping from Slaven. Coffin, Glover. Bounced his little pass through, Dixon's touch. And Wilson to Nevin. Nevin's chip. Dewey! That has opened it up. Now we really have got a playoff on our hands. minutes to go. But it's a tightrope Middlesbrough walking. One slip. That's all it needs. Equally true, of course, of Chelsea. They uh, only need to have a moment of casualness in their defence. And another goal for Middlesbrough would surely settle it. But it doesn't look too likely at the moment. It's Chelsea again through Nevin. Curled one. Pairs soiled all the way. Bruce Rioch counting the seconds, moistening the lips. I doubt whether anything he experienced as a player is as tense as what he's been through this afternoon. The mistake now would be barely forgivable. Slaven. And there's the whistle. Middlesbrough have lost 1-0, but they win 2-1 on aggregate. They head for the first division, and Chelsea go back to the second. The goal by Gordon Dury was not enough for Chelsea. The goals that Trevor Senior and Bernie Slaven scored at Ayrson Park on Wednesday night have done the trick and Middlesbrough's marvellous rise from the brink of insolvency to the first division in two seasons is complete. Steve Pears, Dean Glover, Colin Cooper, Tony Mowbray, Gary Parkinson, Gary Pallister, Bernie Slaven, Gary Hamilton, Paul Kerr, Stuart Ripley, Alan Kernigan, Brian Laws, Mark Burke and Trevor Senior. These were the heroes who Borough fans saluted after their second successive promotion. Players who in turn acknowledged the contribution of the Teesside contingent in the 40,000 crowd on that summer Saturday in 1988. It was just six years since Middlesbrough had left the first division, but there were times in the dark days of 1986 when their very survival looked unlikely. Giants like Tony Mowbray had made the dream come true.